Hi, this is Dale O'Shields, pastor of Church of the Redeemer in Gaithersburg, Maryland. Thank you so much for joining me for our devotional time this week. We're glad that you're part of this and hope that you'll encourage other people to subscribe and be a part of this as well. I want to talk to you this week about a very important word. It's the word hope. You know, for a lot of folks, we, we don't really think about the value, the meaning of that one particular word, but it is so important in our lives to be able to have a sense of hope. Let me give you a verse of scripture from Romans chapter 15, verse number 13. Notice the Apostle Paul's instructions here. In fact, it's a prayer that he prayed for all of us as believers. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Paul's prayer is that we as believers would overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Why? Because hope is such an important part of life. The opposite of hope is despair. Despair says there's, there's no meaning for my future, there's no reason to live, there's no, there's no purpose to my life. Despair really drains from you life energy and life resources. And that's why hope is so vital. Hope is what fills you up on the inside. It gives you a sense of expectancy about your future. It's more than positive thinking. It's really a sense of promise for your life. Now, one of the things we have to learn to do is, is we have to learn how to maintain hope. How do you get it? How do you maintain it? So I'm going to talk to you today about one thing that is vital in terms of maintaining your hope. Uh, in our day-to-day -day journey, in our day-to-day -day life, we experience things that I would call hope drainers, things that just sort of poke the balloon of our lives and let a little bit of the air out here and a little air out there. And before long, the internal mechanism of hope in us, the internal, if you will, inflation of hope in us is drained. And so what we must do is we must be very aware of the need to refuel hope in our hearts every day that uh, we need to start our day with a sense of hope and expectation that God is with us, that God is going to do good things in us and through us, that God has blessing in store for us every day of our life because He is a good, caring, and loving God. And that starts really with refueling yourself every morning in the presence of God. And I want to encourage you, if you're not doing this already, maybe many of you are, but if you're not, let me encourage you to get this habit uh, uh, established in your life. It's the habit of just starting your day with God, spending a little bit of time every day in His presence. Because the Bible says, as we read a moment ago, that God is the God of hope. And so you can't be around God without experiencing hope. Every time you get around Him, you begin to partake of His nature and partake of His, His, His character. And that's the nature and character of hope. God cannot not give hope because God is is the God of hope. And so when you take a little bit of time every day to open up the Bible and really reflect upon one of God's promises or reflect upon one of God, one of the passages of Scripture and just to spend some time talking to God and, and in His presence, really praising Him and worshiping Him, that little bit of time every day is just a recharge of hope inside of you. It's like going back and having a fresh inflation of hope internally so that you can have what you need to go through your day. And to, to function well in your day, you need hope inside of you. So just a word of encouragement. Take time every day. Just a little bit of time. It doesn't have to be hours. It can be just a matter of minutes. It can be five or ten minutes. It can be 15 or 20 minutes. It can be half an hour. Whatever works in your schedule. But at least do something every day where you are refueling hope in your soul so you begin your day and live your day with the perspective that God is going to guide you through it, that He is the God who is with you in the midst of whatever you're facing in life. So let the God of hope fill you and overflow you with hope today.